Right now, I want to get back to that breaking news we've been following in New Haven. Firefighters are investigating a house fire on Elm Street this morning. Five people who lived in the multifamily home are homeless. There was a huge response overnight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is joining us live now from the scene with the very latest. Carolina. Good morning. As you said, firefighters are investigating what happened and how this fire got started. But just taking a look at this building, you can see all the damage that's left behind. The siding is melted off this home. We're in the back portion of it right now. The siding um, it, from one of the sites that neighbors a home, that's also melted off. And that home next to it did get some damage to it as well. But this is what firefighters were dealing with when they got here just after midnight. Flames were shooting out of the roof, out of the windows. This video was taken by Justin Smith. And we know that the fire department issued a second alarm just before one. And then they went into a third alarm around 140. They needed the additional help because a portion of the stairwell leading to the third floor it collapsed leaving one firefighter hurt and two others went to the hospital for minor injuries we did have some problems with the stairs that were burning through one of the firefighters foot fell through he's okay he's down at the hospital right now for evaluation All residents made it out safely. One of them was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. I'm told the flames were heaviest on the second floor. And that, again, that home next to it, they did spread to it. It only had some minor structural damage. The families living on the second and third floor of this, they are displaced a total of five people. And the investigation into what started this fire, it's going to take a few hours. So firefighters will be here on scene figuring out how this all started. For now reporting in New Haven, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.